In an interview with this newsroom, Superintendent Lambu expressed that a major contributor to the fire department arriving late to the scene of an incident being that the department, under many circumstances, were never contacted. To this, he highlighted that more awareness has to be carried out on the fire department's contact details. To do community-based awareness so that people can know our numbers especially our emergency number. Sometimes people do not know our number, therefore they do not get in touch with us quickly. And sometimes the road conditions as well. There are certain hours of the time where peak conditions, traffic are busy. So it, it is a learning thing that we have to, it will take a while for even PNG Fire Service and the general public to know that he also noted the importance on the use of fire hydrants, especially within the urban center. The fire hydrants that are located within our city limits are provided by water PNG. Okay, those hydrants are essential to PNG fire service fire activities because the amount of water that each fire vehicle carries differs and is also limited. So within, a, say, five to ten minutes, those water can be finished or used up and it's through this hydrant system that we get water. It prompts more concern as fire hydrants within the urban center were known to be vandalized, causing an inconvenience to the fire department during time of need. To this the superintendent further comments. With, uh, hopefully with uh, our communi continued uh, communication with uh, Water PNG, we can resolve these issues and also the pressure as well. Where within PNG or Port Moresby, especially, there are some locations where there is low or nil pressure of water supply through this area, so it has an if impact on our firefighting activities as well. As an important department to maintaining a safe society, the fire service has noted taking significant steps to improving its service to the country, one of which included the department's ongoing partnership through trainings with the Queensland Fire and Emergency Service, of which they have given a review on the recent training today at the PNG Fire Service headquarters in Port Moresby to the Deputy Australian High Commissioner, John Londes, Natasha Avoy, National, MTV News.